this is what I'm telling uh, my clients, which are uh, some of the best in the country, their CEOs talking to them, their direct reports and the board of directors. That's a false choice. Um, businesses always have to make choices, always have to make a choice between, um, you know, things like keeping employees safe, keeping employees secure, cybersecurity, um, new technology. So it's not, it's a false choice between one or the other. Uh, those companies who have not invested in diversity, equity, inclusion are going to have to catch up. That's all it is to it because you're not, you now, there's the two, two words that you need. You need a strategy that's linked to the business, that's proactive and intentional. And um, th that's something that if you don't have it, you're going to have to do. If you have one, then as you've seen, uh, and, and as I've talked to uh, leaders around the country, HR and DNI leaders around the country, those that have strategies are re-looking at them and going back to their business leaders and talking about the need to have to look at the business, the culture, processes, procedures, practices, and behaviors through an equity lens. If I can just give you one quick example. CEO asked me, well, Shelton, um, I'm trying to keep all of my employees. Um, I don't want to lay anybody off. So I'm thinking about a 20% across the board pay cut. What do you think? I says, you really want to know what I think? He says, yeah. I says, I, don't, I wouldn't do it if I was you. Uh, he says, why not? I said, it's not equitable. It's simply not equitable to ask a customer service rep in your organization that's in, in, in your organization. She is, she is a, a, fe a, a, a female of color. She's a single mom. She's making less than $15 an hour. Um, as a female, she's making only 79 cents for every dollar that her white male counterpart makes. And then uh, she's having a, additional costs from, uh, from daycare if she's keeping her, her, her children home rather than um, risk sending them to school or to daycare. So she's got in, increased costs from in-home daycare. And now you want to take a 20% cut while you who are making six, seven figures. No, that's not equitable. And so it's not, it's not either or. You it's and in both. You've got to do both.